Today, let's talk about how to screen and select your photos. I use a two-step screening process. It's pretty simple. No matter if you are an amateur photographer or a professional photographer, sometimes you might have created similar photos with slight different composition or with a little bit different camera settings. Unless you have a limited amount of time, you only want to choose one or two versions of the same photo and retouch them for friend or client sharing. So how do we quickly select your photos and organize them in a systematic approach? Now I'm going to give you an example. This is a photo I have created that includes 40 photos I took of Alcatraz. At quick glance, you can see that I have many versions of Alcatraz, but all these photos are taken exactly at the same spot, and some with a little bit longer exposure, some have a little bit different color adjustment on my camera. But I only need to select one of them to post on my website. I typically go through two rounds of selection process. The first round, start with the grid view, and I go through each image very quickly. I double click on the image or you can press E on your keyboard to enlarge your photo and I skim through the photos very quickly whenever I like a photo I click on a flag in a toolbar if you don't see a toolbar make sure that you click on T on your keyboard which will hide or show the toolbar another alternative to clicking on this flag button is to press P as a Peter on your keyboard. This will flag the photo as a pick. I'm going to repeat this process for other photos and go through this process very, very quickly. Looks like right now I move on to take the bridge pictures so all right there are not that many pictures I like and I want it to be very strict so all right I've gone through all these 40 photos I know that I have made a number of picks by clicking on the P on my keyboard to flag as a pick but I wanted to see what is the result of my first round selection all I need to do is go to the filter bar here click on the first flag which means you are picking the photos that you just flagged to be shown on the bottom thumbnail strip. Now you can see that only eight photos showed up and then you click on G on your keyboard, you will be directed to the grid view or thumbnail view. The problem right now is after my first round of selection, there are still quite a few images that look very similar. And I'm gonna go through my second round of selection. What I would do right now is Again, double click on the image or click on E on your keyboard to enlarge the image. Instead of clicking on the flag button or clicking on P on your keyboard, which will mess up my first round of selection and throw the image back to the unwanted image, I wanted to undo that just now by clicking the command. Z on Mac or Control Z to undo what I just did. My second round of selection process, I typically use a star rating system. For example, I went through my images and here we go. I wanted to select this image to prepare it for retouching. What I would do is click on the star button underneath the image. Another way to do it is to click on one on your keyboard or two the number of stars you're going to give to this image. So I can click on three to give it a three star or you can do four or five. If you change your mind when you see the next image, you think, oh, wow, this image is actually better than the last image. I don't want it to give it uh, three stars anymore. I wanted to change it to one or two. You can just click on the numbers on your keyboard or you can click on zero to remove the stars. So this image, I wanted to give it as a three star and uh, I'm going to go through the next few images. They're very similar. I'm going to pick this one and only retouch this image. So I give it a three star, maybe one star. So I know very clearly in this case, this is pretty simple that I've selected two images for my second round. But if you have a large folder with lots of images and you have tons of images selected for the first round and the second round, what you need to do is go to the filter bar and click on the star here. So it will give you a filtered result only showing the pictures that you just rated at least with one star or above. And if you want to see how many pictures you have rated two stars or above, you can click on two stars here. Now you can see that only one image showed up. 
Obviously, this is my final pick from my two-step screening process. And this process is extremely useful if you're a high volume photographer. It can save you tons of time when you revisit your folder in the future. You know exactly how to find your favorite photos in your first round selection. Let me deselect the stars and my first round selection just by clicking the flag button in the filter bar or I can very quickly know what is my final round or second round of selection by clicking on the stars. I hope this video tutorial is helpful to you. Thank you so much and I will see you in my future episode.